My name is Adam Sandler. I'm not particularly talented. I'm not particularly good looking. And yet I'm a multimillionaire. Chemistry can be a good and bad thing. Chemistry is good when you make love with it. Chemistry is bad when you make crack with it. Well I have a microphone and you don't so you will listen to every damn word I have to say. I know I want to always do the best I can. Well, we're living in a material world, and I'm a material girl. Or boy. My father used to wear the same pants for like a week. I had my moments of being humiliated, and then I had moments of doing something humiliating. I'm glad I lived out both roles. I'm not comfortable being around too many people. I don't like being out in public too much. I don't like going to bars. I don't like doing celebrity stuff. So most of the characters I play are people who don't always feel comfortable beyond their small circle of friends. Now that I'm a parrot, I understand why my father was in a bad mood a lot. I never had a speech from my father this is what you must do or shouldn't do but I just learned to be led by example. My father wasn't perfect? Sir one more comment like that and I will strangle you with my microphone wire. I'm 31 now. I think I'm beginning to understand what life is, what romance is, and what a relationship means. My father wasn't perfect. He had a temper. I took some of that. He would snap, but the older he got, he started calming down. He learned about life, but the thing that he taught my whole family was that family was the most important thing and, no matter what, if a family member needs you, you go and help them out, you get there. God gave me some weird, beautiful scent that makes men and women go crazy. People compare it to Curvel. It is a whale of a smell. I was raised by a mother who told me I was great every day of my life. Feels good to try, but playing a father, I'm getting a little older. I see now that I'm taking it more serious and I do want that lifestyle. I definitely connected to the fact that life gets out of control and you end up doing things and wishing you were doing other things instead. I still get very scared when I step in front of a live audience. My comedy is different every time I do it. I don't know what the hell I'm doing. I've been called a moron since I was about four. My father called me a moron. My grandfather said I was a moron. And a lot of times when I'm driving, I hear I'm a moron. I like being a moron. I think the reason I don't read is because, when I'm reading, I feel like I'm missing out on something else. You know, what are my friends doing? Where's my girlfriend? I don't know who I touch and who I don't. I work hard trying to make people laugh. I try to do the kind of stuff that made me laugh growing up. I don't have any secrets. I don't know the reasons I've been so well received.